All right. Hello, it's Sarah. Today's video is the faces for our little angels, our little art doll angels. Now, these Christmas ones I did about four years ago, I want to say. And I do think the videos are up on my channel. I didn't really go back and look. I just am winging it today. So I've been playing around with faces. If you watch the last video, or maybe the one about the body, where I cut the shape for our little bodies, I did cut some heads, too, out of the same exact wood. And I, I'm happy about that because that way you don't have to be able to find these little one and I think they're one and a half, one and a half inch rounds or whatever. You can use just that one, one of these, one of these pieces of wood, if, and you can cut it yourself. So you can cut a triangle and a circle. I'm not sure if actually, yeah, you can do it. You can make one art doll per piece. So I did that, but they, they're a little wonky compared to the perfectly round ones that, the, like, that you buy. So they're a little wonky, but I like the width of them. So the first thing I did was sand them real good, get them kind of the roughness off, um, and then I painted them and I used, um, sealer. I did put sealer, all-purpose sealer. Where is it? Here. I just mixed it and I think I just used on these flesh tone. Oh, cute. Yeah, flesh tone. So please use whatever flesh tone you have or you, like there's a darker flesh. Um, I probably should base coat one of them with a little bit of a darker flesh because I was thinking this kind of gives me a like a Latina flamenco vibe. I don't know, whatever that means. So I painted one with a little bit of like a darker eyelash. But maybe she should have a little bit darker skin. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to paint it and seal it. Then you're going to gently sand it. Then you're going to paint it again with just your flesh color. Let it dry and then a very light top coat sand. Like this is really fine sandpaper because this, this wood is a little more um, imperfect than the one that you buy at the store because this was probably cut on a laser. I don't know. Let me find my chin again. I think this is going to be my chin. So I'm going to take my awl and put a hole. I'm going to center it right in the middle and just push down about a quarter of an inch into the wood and pull it out. And that's where I'm going to connect her head to the body. So now I know where my chin is. My hands are covered in uh, all this paint. But I, I was having fun playing around. So here's, it's very simple. We're going to, to me, I think this is probably one of the more simple. It's just that you kind of have to float. So anyway, going to need a couple colors. Um, I'm going to use my pencil to show you the lines, but... So this is dry now. There are pencil lines on here. I'm going to erase them or attempt to. So I'm going to take this little, this is like a zero, a mono zero elastic eraser. Anyway, and I'm just going to gently, let me come in. I know zooming is not ideal because I always, oop, that's just my plug. Okay, so I'm just going to gently see if I can get the carbon or whatever the, graphite from the pencil off the paint and then it would just be left with a line of paint. But I, I kind of wanted to put those guidelines down and then once you varnish, I think that's all I did. Oh wait, there's a little here by her mouth. So I put it, you can kind of see the pencil line under the red, but it's going to look cute. Look, when it's hanging on the wall or wherever you're going to hang this, nobody's going to notice, okay? But before you seal it, you should try to get any uh, pencil lines off the piece. And just so you know, just try not to put the darkest pencil lines you can. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start, we're going to put the eyes in the middle. We need a lot more room, and I couldn't find it, my pre-cut bangs, because I just cleaned off my desk to um, paint. But you're going to use felt on the back. That's why you don't really need to paint the back. And you're going to use like some felt to make the bangs. Now this one has a straight across bang. So, you know, and, and then a little room to embellish. Like to put a little flower or something. This one has 
kind of like a part in the middle ish you know I kind of overlapped Oop. so you can see a little bit more of her forehead but you you know and see look I put a little nostril on her Ooh. see I want to look at these <laughs> See, I, I don't know. I just, what, I look at what I did before. I'm such a copycat. But anyway, so like on here, I would just take this uh, brown that I was using for, and maybe make a nostril. I don't know if that looks nostrily or not. Yeah, I kind of like it. So anyway, let's get started. I'm going to find my one that I put the hole in. Here it is. And I'm going to set it down. And I'm just going to use, this is kind of like a thick pencil too. Maybe I should use a thinner, but it's a graphite pencil. And I'm going to start in the middle. I have to turn it to the side so that I, and I'm just going to make her brows. Like, so right in the middle, this is just giving me an indication, a very light indication. That looks pretty good, pretty even. <clears throat> then her eyelid, the little socket, is going to come around and go down and form the nose. And then there's going to be her mouth right here. That's all you want to put on there. This kind of actually looks a little too far over. I want it to be like a little more, there we go. Because the nose kind of is in the middle of the face, right? Now that's a little dark. I'm just lightening it up. Because what we're going to do, and you don't have to do this. You could just do two dots for a face. I mean, you could keep it as super simple. I don't even really think you can see that too good on the camera. So let me come in. So that's my guidelines, okay? Then I'm going to use paint and create these little sockets. So I'm going to take that same color. It's kind of like, let's see what I used. I think it's called, it's like a darker version. This is called Caucasian Flesh and this is called Dark Flesh. That's what I'm using to do the shading because this is, I use such a light color. I don't even think that's the right color. Flesh Tone. It was this color. Different brand. Both called Flesh Tone. They're different brands. Anyway, sorry. I See how I forget I'm zoomed in? come up. To do this, I'm only going to need a little bit of paint on this corner of my brush. So I'm going to, I put it in water, I blot on my paper towel, and then I load the brush on just the corner. And then I work it into my palette paper here, which is like a waxy surface. And just keep it really dark on the tip and fade out. And this is a float, and if you look back in some of my painting videos, this is all I use for doing shading. So I'm going to do that with her face. And we're going to use this line, I'm going to come in, to create the like side of her nose and her eye socket. And that's it, just leave it right there. I'm going to get a little bit more paint and do the same thing over here, just a little half circle under the eyebrow. And that's it. That kind of gives you the shadow. I forgot about um, doing on top of her, like, forehead. Just darken it up there because when her hair gets on, you'll want it to be a little darker. I don't like this line that I left. You can always use a Q-tip. The paint, acrylic paint is water soluble, so it's not, uh, it won't be dry for like a few minutes. And I mean, that's the basic idea. This isn't looking perfect yet. I'm going to take my liner brush, my really little liner brush. And I don't know, should I make her fair? Because these, see how like dark those eyebrows were? I might make her eyebrows the same color that I've been using. So this is called, I don't know if it's called Caucasian Flesh, Dark Flesh. Let me put this out. 
any brown, but it just, you know, I just pulled what I have. Yeah, it looks like it was the dark flesh. And I'm going to load a liner brush so that it's like a pen. And then I'm going to kind of just, just like you're doing your own makeup, use your brow brush to kind of, so here's the center. I'm just going to start to pull little brow lines and give her an arch. And I have to flip it to do the other side. So let's see, the center is right there. They're not perfect, guys. Look, this is this is a cutesy little angel. Oops, let me get thicker over there. And then we're gonna make her eye like where her eyelashes come out of. So the front of her eyelid is going to be her eyelids are closed so we're going to just make a line in that same color of a closed eye and then I'm going to use the same color for her little nose so just like a oh, there was way too much water in my brush so I just want to make sure I blot on my paper towel and then go into the um, paint and just kind of like make a little strokey mark and then for her I'm just going to take this brush and go right into the red and kind of mix it with that flesh tone and get some red and just make a line and then you're going to make like a heart so right in the middle you make a little V going down and then the two little bumps of the heart and makes a little smoochy lips. This is very red. So if you want your lips to be more pink, I can, I'm going to highlight the lips with a little pink in a sec, but let me see if I can take off this pencil line. It, I should really wait till it's dry. And then for for these, I didn't. I think I did do a little eyeshadow on these, but I'm using like a, a pearlescent paint for this. I just thought, why not? Angels are like I like bling. That's what it is. So I took a little. This is a, a Martha Stewart brand, but there's a lot of other brands. But it's called Mother of Pearl. But they just have a pearlescent sheen to them. So I took a little bit of the white, and I, I mean there may even be like an like a more orangey color that you could use that would just be like more of the flesh tone but I thought why not just use white and I'm gonna put this color on top like where her lashes are gonna come out you see what I'm saying oh my gosh now to um, do the little cheeks I used a dry brush and I haven't put this in water at all and I'm just gonna take I have a bunch of different pinks out on my palette this is like a more of a fuchsia pink. So we'll see, like this one, I think I ended up mixing pinks. The, the first one I did was too light. Like this is super light, which it's still cute, oops. So I put a little pink on here and then I'm gonna pounce and kind of scrub it off. The idea is I just want the bare minimum of paint on here. And then I'm just gonna hold it and kind of scrub gently I'm not putting much pressure and gently put more pressure as you go when you start to see the color rub off see how dark that is though that's a darker pink it looks cute though it's oh, I'm so sorry I gotta move my camera a little more toward me I think because my my um, I'm comfortable working closer to me I'm going to add a little bit darker to her eyebrows. I have like a burnt umber out here. So I'm just going to put a few lines of burnt umber. And you can just draw a line. Like I'm being a, I'm being a little fancy, but I like it. It's fun. It's fun like I'm 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 doing her makeup. Like she has eyebrows. <laughs> like little hairs. And I think I'll just give her the dark brown eyelashes, the, the same color. But I want to get this tip of this brush really pointy. So that when I apply it, it 
is it's not gloppy and, it, and I'm gonna put the first couple lashes right in the front and get smaller as I go to the side so kind of get make it longest in the front and then get smaller and you can go over it as many oopsie I got it on the eyelid just like I do when I'm doing my own makeup <laughs> um, so you can just get it off and then do the other one but I like to start in the middle and then work your way towards the edge and try to get shorter as you go it kind of gives it more like I don't know shape so and you know there's nothing wrong with even if we made a line with paint but I think that would be too dark because I'm really seeing the um, the pencil line but I'm gonna just make a line what the heck I don't think that looks bad at all and every face could be a little different um, like I didn't put that little nostril on her I don't know if that even looks nostrily and then I'm gonna put a little dot in the cor in the uh, on the cheek and this is with the pearlescent white and that's it oh we can highlight our lips and you can give her a chin so like on her see how I just gave her a chin and look, I didn't start in the, I didn't put very many lashes toward the middle of her face. I did most of them towards the edge. Let's see how I did this one. She's got a lot of lashes, a lot more than the other one. So they're both different, you know? I mean, I just kind of stuck with an idea and then each one looks different. Like her eyebrows are way too dark and long for me but this is her this is that's her this is my you know that's how she rolls she likes it like that and then I'm just gonna highlight her lip with a little pink <laughs> see how I just made it like a little pink there um, I mean I could even give her eyeshadow under her brow but I'm gonna leave it like this that's what she looks like <laughs> I mean that's this is that angel let's do one more okay and then I'm gonna leave it leave you to it I'm just trying to see I think this one has kind of wood grain lines going crazy so I'm gonna make her chin right here just gonna put my hole right in the middle it's a little towards the top and we're gonna again I think I'm not gonna put any um, pencil lines on this one and see how it comes out I don't know I'm using that kind of dark flesh color and I'm looking at it from the hole is right here so this is the center I'm kind of eyeballing where the center would be and I'm just gonna put an eye socket let me put it down a little more like the nose. Looks very circular. I'm just taking that off, like leaving it. Okay. And then we'll put this one. Right there. And that kind of gives me where I'm going with the rest of the face. This one's going to have, dark brown again, but I think I'll make it a little lighter, I'll mix it with this. I don't know, it looks weird, very weird now. It's a very weird color. Alright, and I'm going to do the brows, and this time I'm just going to keep them um, short, like a little you just don't want them evil you don't want you don't want them to be like that that looks kind of nervous just don't make them like that anyway that looks cute I'm gonna make the um, the front of the lid where the lashes go and just draw 
Hers are going to be a little wider, this one. Mm, the tip of her nose. Oh my gosh, I had a blop of water. So make sure you blot your brush before you... Loading the brush is half the work. And I'm going to mix a little bit of pink with this color and see what that looks like. Mm, this is such a bright pink fuchsia. Oh boy. This doesn't really look pink, but we'll see. And I'm going to make it kind of long because this is what she looks like. And I'm going to put that heart, so just the tip of the heart and the two little bumps. And that's her mouth. I'm going to do the cheeks. Again, I still haven't put, in the, put this in any water. Um, I think I'm going to use that color I just mixed up for the mouth. I like it. It's a little more, um, um, the color is mauve. I don't know if I'm in the shot. Okay, good. And you could float the cheeks on too, but I just like to switch it up, like dry brush, float, do whatever. That looks good. Then I'm going to do a little bit of pearlescent white. Um, I have a pearlescent pink that I could have used, you know, so it's just to give it a little brightness there. nostril. He doesn't look great when I do that. It looks fine, actually. Maybe I'll do a little chin. That looks fine. Let's do the lashes. What color? Um, the dark brown. I think I'm just going to use the dark brown. And this time I'll just put them from the middle over. I think I want to make that eyelid. So like right here. I mean, look how different each of them looks just by the amount of, you know, eyelashes or whatever. And then I'm going to just highlight her lip with a little brighter pink. I don't like that. That wasn't good. Again, I had too much water in my brush and it just like dissolved. So I'm going to go a little light. Oh, again, too much water. It, fall, it comes down here, like there will be water here, and I blot here, and then the water just rolls down. That's good enough. I'll put a little dot of white on her cheeks. I like it. So look how different they all look. I mean the same but different. This one doesn't have her dots. See? So that's it. I hope that was helpful. Um, 
we're going to put the hair and the halo on the heads. I want you to varnish. I'm going to let these dry. I'm going to actually put a chin. I want to put a chin on, I think, most of them. Definitely on this one. I think on this one. I can put a line, too. I don't know. This one looks really different than those. But, um, see how, like, this one I just made a line? Anyway, um, we're going to varnish it. I want it to be varnished so that the paint is protected. You don't want to mess it up and while you're, because we still have to put the little um, eye pin in there. Do I have one on my desk? One of these guys. I shared in the first video how I just took an eye pin and I'm going to glue it in so that we can connect it to the body. And then in the next video, we'll put the hair and the halo on the heads. Oh, I forgot to sh sand, um, shade the top. See how it looks a little uh, kind of bright. It looks a little too bright. And I mean, you may not even see that, but I need to put it there because depending on the hair, there would be a shadow. So, um, that's it. Alright, so in the next video we're going to do the hair and the halo. Thanks for watching.